guys, we have another great product to review. Is the Star Tracker. A Star Tracker. Here it comes, Jim. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my goodness! Ta -da. It's the Skywatcher EQR6 Pro. It's bigger than me. And I'll tell you something right away. This is a lot heavier than I thought. Very it's about twice as heavy as I was expecting, but for a Star Tracking mount, I guess you would want something that is heavy. It's nine, 19 kilograms. So with the Star Tracker and the, the tripod all together, it's like 95 pounds. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, once you add your telescope, it's probably going to be over 100 pounds. Got our packing list. Man, I've been so busy. This arrived like three weeks ago. I should have opened it on the first day just to check that everything's okay. All right, very gently. Looks like it's packed good. We get another box. Go ahead and slice down the middle. Be careful not to go in too deep. You guys can see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we have our tripod in here. Um, let me very gently lift it. Oh my god. And I feel like we're running out of room already. And I will tell you how I saved a hundred dollars. Um, on uh, the total cost. Let's uh, slide. Now this is solid. Uh, very good construction. And um, there is no way that we're going to be able to set this up on this table. What we're going to have to do is uh, move the table and <laughs> unbox it on the floor. We'll be right back. So before we move the table, I uh, just want to show you what's in that first box. You have your tripod and uh, your eyepiece holder. This will go uh, on the tripod legs. And you have uh, counterweights. These feel like they are, you know, I don't want to guess how heavy they are. They're probably five pounds or ten pounds. They feel heavy. Um, I have to look at the instructions, see how heavy they are. So you, it comes with two of them. These are counterweights. All right, Jinda, can I have your assistance? You want to grab one hand? This is heavy. Right in the middle of the table. There we go. All right. I'll let you uh, unbox that agenda. Skywatcher, be amazed. I've heard great things about the Skywatcher EQR6 Pro, and uh, I am new at astrophotography, and I want to make sure that I do this right, get the right equipment, before I spend money on equipment that's useless. So uh, for tremendous things about this star tracker. Um, so yeah, I'm new to astrophotography. I've done and dabbled maybe a little bit with a DSLR, but uh, my background is photography, videography. I would call myself a professional uh, photographer, videographer. You got your instruction manual here. And uh, let's very gently unbox this. You got cables and sockets, you got a remote controller, and I don't know what this is. Breadstick. <laughs> Alright. This is heavy, I don't know what to do. Yeah, this is very heavy. Thank God it was packed great. Now, like I said, I made the mistake of opening this thing like three weeks after it arrived. 
I should have opened the first day, make sure there's no damage. So far, so good. Um, you know, I don't even know if I can lift it. This is very heavy. Are you gonna lift it like this? <laughs> you can't. If you said it's a teamwork. You know what? Let's, uh, it's time to move the table. We're gonna have to, uh, unbox it on the floor. All right. So like I said, you have your manual. You have your uh, remote control unit. What is it? And bracket drawing assembly. This thing. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Good thing so it big. comes with an instruction manual. They're rough for really good just Yep, they wrapped really well. It's remote. All right, it is time to, uh, yeah, move the table. We'll be right back. All right, so for someone that's never done this before, this is very awkward. <laughs> Just to let you know ahead of time, the mount, this is so heavy. So Jen, what we want to do uh -huh. is, uh, do you see underneath? Um, Which one? This one? Yeah. That's going to go right over there. Inside. It's in. Okay. Uh -huh. There we go. Alright, so we got to screw that in good. You gotta make sure we do this right, or we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, go ahead and tighten both of those. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and let's go this way. Mm. And, uh, yeah, we are not on correct. And uh, I think you have to do this too. Mm. So, this is all new to us, and we're trying to be extra careful. But this thing is solid. I think I'm gonna have to figure out some type of dolly cart to take it around, put wheels on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not gonna let go till I know that we, we're on good. Mm. Why are you? Yeah, because I think we need to tilt up. Okay, so we just installed the accessory tray um, that holds eyepieces and we're coming along slowly. So I have my Skywatcher EQ6R Pro all set up and my first astro imaging lens is a red cat 71 and it's got the 50 millimeter um, guide scope on top and uh, zwo asi 120 millimeter mini guide camera on the back there and the red cat 71 is a quadruplet lens construction so this is a 350 millimeter lens and you're dealing with a, a wide field lens so your movements um, are going to be less unnoticeable if you make any mistakes and this is a great lens to learn with and I've heard nothing but good reports with the optics on this lens and um, 
it's going to pair good with the Skywatcher um, mount. Now, uh, what I can say about the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro is it is very heavy. It is tank-like. It is solid. And there's a lot to learn. Um, I notice on the back here this cover comes off and uh, there's the eyepiece for finding uh, for your polar alignment and um, we have uh, a few dials down here and I went ahead and mounted the controller on the tripod leg and what I'm waiting for I need a power converter I'm finding out these all these little pieces that I need that uh, are on back order so I need a power converter eventually I'm gonna get a professional uh, imaging camera dedicated to uh, astrophotography but for right now I'm gonna use my 5D Mark II uh, made by Canon that I've had for several years and this is just until I can save up for the right astro imaging camera so like I said in the beginning of the video I am a newbie this is all new to me and to be honest with you it seems overwhelming right now there's a lot to learn about this setup and how to get started so uh, I'm going to be spending lots of time watching YouTube videos on how to use this setup how to balance it so like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I saved $100 on this purchase, and I'll tell you how. I bought it from High Point Scientific, and for shipping, they had three different choices. Um, U.S. Mail Ground was free. Uh, UPS was a little more than $100, and FedEx, I, don't, I forget if it was next day or two days, but FedEx was... Uh, more than $300. So I decided to go with the U.S. Mail ground shipping for free. Um, I thought I would take my chances, thought it would be packed real good. So that's what I chose. And High Point Scientific ended up sending it UPS for free. Um, that was going to cost me a little more than $100. And again, I chose... Uh, U.S. Mail, ground shipping, and uh, so yeah, I saved $100 by choosing that and got UPS shipping for free. So I have a lot ahead of me to learn, and I'll be looking at the manual and watching YouTube videos, and eventually I'm going to start a separate channel dedicated just to uh, astro imaging. And yeah, please subscribe, stay tuned, and... Uh, We'll see what we come up with. Thanks for watching, guys.